fucking shit. Oh, I just fucking fucked my finger up. Oh. you guys uh, today we are gonna start working on or not start today we're gonna work on the e36 so as you guys know I'm actually going to be running the m52 for a little bit as I work up the money as I save up the money to um, to order the 1j and stuff like that because I have other priorities with the car and well, I need to get it running first and then you know start fabricating stuff like that get the welder so it'll be a little bit till the 1j is ordered but the chassis will be ready for it when it's ordered so that's good. Um, so today we're gonna be deleting my EGR off the M52 headers, as well as um, we're gonna be mounting the the radiator fan to the radiator. I got an aftermarket radiator fan. And I got a story about that too. Uh, I cut my fingers seven stitches when I was testing the fan. I never turned it on before or tested it, so I just hooked it up to my battery. Uh, and it slipped out of my hands, and now I have seven stitches. So, insert picture here. So that was definitely not fun at all. I've never had stitches before, and uh, I don't like them. So that's that. Uh, I think we're gonna, we might mess around with my bumper a little bit today. Not really sure, the, the main priority is the EGR valves. Gotta cut a little piece of uh, metal, and then weld it up. We're gonna be welding it with the Harbor Freight welder. So they're probably not going to be pretty, but it's on the headers, and you can't see the headers because it's a slant six. So let's get going with the day. We'll see what happens. Just closed the door, got the space heater on. It's pretty nice. It's already getting really cluttered in here, but that's okay. So what we're gonna be doing today is deleting that. I got this piece of uh, steel. Got this piece of steel I'm gonna use right here. Gotta cut that up and clean it, and then gotta clean these. But just that hole right here, these holes are for the header bolts. So I got that one. And I got one to do on there too, so it's not gonna be that hard. We'll see how this performs. I mean, we already know how it's gonna perform. It's gonna perform shitty, but uh, doesn't matter. So let's get going with that. Okay, so today I'm probably gonna be using this cutoff wheel to be cutting this, and I have a quick strip disc to clean off all the paint that's on there. And I'm probably gonna be using this flap disc um, once we get down closer, so I can make it like a really good fit, and uh, that'll just help a lot. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And then obviously the welder. Um, I don't know if I have a wire brush here, which is kind of shitty, so I might have to figure out a way to clean all that up. Um, but I'm gonna cut this metal real quick. And I don't have a vise, so I'll have to use like a C-clamp setup, and, um, and it's kind of ghetto. <laughs> Side note, check this sweatshirt out. sketchy all right so that is almost a perfect fit actually I really need to get a vice because I would trim that down a little bit to uh, just make more clearance for the for the header bolts um, but that'll be fine and I forgot to clean this one off first so that's gonna suck I'll probably just use this real quick um, once that cools down but I'm gonna clean these off real quick or clean the rest of this one off for the next one and then I'll cut the next one
all cleaned up. All right, so then since this one was a little bit longer than I was liking, I'm just going to grind it down a little bit and get it closer to the other one. I just cleaned these up with uh, this wire brush attached to the, the drill. Um, so they're good enough. So I'm going to get up, get up, get that welder set up, and uh, we'll get started welding. All right, so another thing I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to clean up my grounds. I'm just gonna ground it right there and right there probably, so I'm gonna do the same thing, wire brush that. Uh, since this is a Harbor Freight welder, you wanna make sure everything is as clean as you can get it, the ground is as clean as you can get it, and the metal you're welding, both the metals you're welding together are as clean as you can get them, because that shit sucks ass. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Pretty fucking terrible. So I'm kind of stupid. Uh, so I was walking over to go see it to leak it, leak test it, and I realized I could just weld that. So I'm gonna do that real quick because that'll for sure 100% not leak if I weld the inside. Um, I, the only thing I gotta make sure is that I clean the surface off really nicely from all the slag and stuff after I'm done with it. All right, so my helmet kept acting up and I couldn't really see what I was doing. But that's no excuse, because uh, that looks like shit. Look at that, ooh. So that looks like shit. I'm gonna put the other one on this side. I'm gonna tack it on, on the, the front side and then fill in the back. All right, so since I already have this all set up, I'm just gonna take it to these and, and clean up all the slag that's actually on the, the contact point. And then, and then we will move on to mounting the electric radiator fan on the radiator. Ow, fucking shit. Ooh, I just fucking fucked my finger up. Ow! Oh. That's not good, that doesn't feel good. Okay, so. A while ago, for my gold E30, or yellow, or whatever you want to call it, call it Hornet Metallic, I ordered a um, electric radiator fan because I do not like clutch fans. They're so ugly, and these are way better, in just in general. So, I ordered one of these. I think it was like 30 bucks, and it's a 16-inch. I don't really know. Um, and that This is the fan that messed up my fingers pretty bad. So I'm being careful around it now. Anyways, so I'm gonna put this fan on this aluminum aluminum radiator. Uh, this came with the car. It seems like it's a little like bent. You can see that, like this is straight. And it seems like it's a little bent that way. I don't know what the deal is on that. It's probably just a cheap, uh, really cheap eBay radiator, which is fine with me. It's aluminum. If it, if it does its job, it does its job. So with, with the fan, they gave me like this kit with these like arm things and this so all I'm gonna be using are these because these go these slide into the corners of the fan like that so I'll be using those I won't be using these because I don't know if any of you have used them but on the other end you it's kind of like a zip tie but you slide another piece plastic piece down and it kind of clamps down on it but it's super ugly I don't want there to be like four black dots on my radiator so I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna use clear or white zip ties that I got right over there because it'll. I think it'll look pretty good, and we'll we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna measure. I'm gonna measure the fan, get it in the middle, get these little guys on there, and then um, and then zip tie it down. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna get my zip ties, the white ones, so it shouldn't show up that much four of those and I'm just gonna put them through. I don't wanna go too tight cause you will, you'll bend the fins. I mean, they're already gonna be bent because zip ties a little bit bigger than them, but you don't wanna do it too tight or else the fins are gonna bend. 
All right, now I'm just gonna cut all four. And there you have it. That isn't going anywhere. It looks good. Well, I mean, it looks as good as zip ties will look. Um, but it's in the center. I think that looks good. So that wasn't hard at all. Um, if you ever wanna know how to do that, I'm sure you could figure it out, but um, it's just a lot easier than the, t than the little things they gave me. They did give me some little like fabric pads with the sticky side. So I did space the fan out a little bit. If you can see that, it's spaced out and there's pads on it. So there's, or sure it'll help cut out the vibrations. And one last thing I wanna get done today, since I have time and it's not dark out yet. This bumper is disgusting. Very disgusting. So I'm gonna be taking off whatever this is. It looks like uh, looks like that in the garden liner people you do. So I'm gonna take that off. This is pretty fucked up, so I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna take these out as well. I'll probably end up getting fog lights and then I need to order a little plastic guard right there. These were all the screws that were holding that garden piece in. I don't understand, people. So looking at this bumper, you can see it's been fucked up. Like, it's just a messed up bumper. This piece is broken. I got it back in. It looks way better than it did. Um, the paint on it is just really messed up. So I think long run, what I'm gonna end up doing is getting a M3 bumper, paint matching it, Avis Blue. And then just rolling with that bumper because this bumper is super messed up. But short term, I'm keeping this. Um, just gonna keep it around. It'll be okay. It's not gonna look the greatest, but this car isn't gonna look the greatest until it's all done. All right, guys. So those are drying. Well, they're pretty much dry. I'll paint those next time. And on that note, I'm gonna end the video. Don't have much else to do. It's getting dark, and I'm gonna go get some dinner. Uh, radiator radiator fan got mounted. EGRs were deleted and these are getting painted and the bumper got a little work so i think it was a pretty good day so i didn't on monday sorry about monday i didn't really have much content or i didn't have any actually but it's kind of one of those things where i just didn't have content and i also don't want to put out content that i don't that i don't personally enjoy watching or personally like editing or whatnot you know so if i don't have like if I don't have footage or content then I'm not gonna put anything out on those days So sorry about that, but definitely stick into this schedule Mondays Thursdays. So come back Monday Thank you for watching hit that subscribe button hit that like button comment down below what you guys thought of this video Thanks for watching peace out